Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem for test seven in chapter twenty one. In this problem, still the follow up problem for example eleven. You can see we have a squared loop of wires. So this side length is a wire, right? This is a wire. This is a wire. This is a wire loops. And then we need to find electric field as Z above the center of this squared loop. That means Z E at this side. So it looks like you need to find the electric field as for this wire, this wire, this wire, this wire, the vector's addition, right? Yes. Now the first part we need to find the electric field as for this wire, and it gives you the hint. We did these problems in forty six. So you can, if you don't understand, if you don't familiar with this part, you can view my previous videos, the video twenty one slash forty six, to find the electric field for this wire with wireless L. So you you can see in this part we get the electric field for this part, the wireless is L, the electric field is at P. This is P is. Distance x with the middle part for this wire, and we find there is only the electric field as in x component, so up right as the equation look like this one. Agree? Now, if we draw, if we consider move this wire to this location, you can see we need to consider the position at the p, so this part becomes p, right? So now the side length. For this one, we can call it x. So this x equal to this x, right? You just move this wire to this, to there, and then can you find the length for the l, the value for l? Yes. In this triangle, you can see in this vertical triangle, this side length is z. This side length is l over two. So in this way, you can find the L equal to squared z squared plus L over two squared, right? Now you can see in previous we talk about the wire, the wire's electric field in this function. So there, you just need to replace x with this uh, equation. So put this x inside. You get the electric field for each wire. Agree? Yes. Now, if we just uh, we consider this is a mirror symmetry, right? And then the electric field for this wire we call it E left. It is just the position pointing to this location, pointing to this location E left wire. And then the right hand side we can call it E right wire. Agree? And this angle is theta. This angle is also theta. So this is z. This is l over two in this uh, vertical direction. So in, in this uh, vertical plane, so we can see uh, this uh, side length x is squared z squared plus l over two squared, right? So this is the prepare work. Now you can see we get the e wire as this one. We need to project the E wire in X component in Y component. Agree? You can see the Y component is just times E wire times cosine theta, and X component E wire times sine theta. And because this is a mirror symmetry, you can see you have the E wire sine theta from left wire, and you also have the E wire sine theta at opposite direction from the right wire. So this term can cancel. We just need to consider the y component, agree? And there are one, two, three, four, four wires. So in this way, the total electric field for this four wire in y component is just four times e wire cosine theta, agree? And the cosine theta can be right in these triangles. So in this triangle, this side length is z divided by the distance squared z squared plus l over two squared. Now you input e wire and cosine theta inside and simplified, you get the answer there. Thank you.